Good morning, friends. It's been a minute. We, our house has been totally turned upside down. You're at that 1870s homestead, and my name's Rachel. And I don't know, we kind of just took advantage of the house. Like, we're getting our floors redone in the living room and dining room, so we have no furniture to sit on downstairs. Everything's piled on top of piled. I think somebody said it best, stuff on top of stuff. Yes. And um, so we kind of just took advantage of the break, I guess, a forced break. And it, so it's been a minute, but I am just have all the Christmas feels. I have Christmas parties starting. We're making cinnamon rolls today for I'm responsible for dessert. And a lot of you in my last video, I mentioned like stockings are a favorite in this house. And um, like I go all out on stockings and there's some basics that go in them every year, but then every year there's new things. Um, and I, a lot of you were asking if I could tell you what I put in my stockings for the kids and they're all adults, my kids. And, um, I'm like, well, I can't cause they all pretty much watch the channel. Most of them do anyway. And so what could I do to help you out or give you at least my inspiration? And I decided for my girls, so the party that I'm going to, my best friends from high school, we all still get together. I graduated in 1994. So do the math, you'll figure out how old I am. And um, you know, we go on trips together every summer. And so our, I gotta find my, do I have my thingy? Oh yeah, it's in there, okay. And I decided, I normally do something homemade. Like I've shared a few of those um, gift ideas on my channel before, like one year I did a make your own cookie basket and things like that. And um, this year we kind of upped the ante on the minimum or maximum price. So I decided I'm going to do a stocking as our white elephant gift for the party. And this, by the way, this cinnamon roll recipe, I have a video on. It's my quick and easy kind of copycat Cinnabon bread machine. Um, cinnamon roll recipe and it is so good so so good so um hang on with me I'm gonna finish making this and I'm going to stuff a stocking with you guys and show you what at least I put would put like in a girl's stocking it's pretty similar I would say my kids get a little bit more than what I'm putting in this one um but It'll at least give you some, some some other little things to think about if you really want to make it fun. So are you guys big stocking people at your house? Are you big Christmas fans? Let's just start there. Are you big celebrate the holiday? Um, like as soon as you can, as, what is your time frame? For me, it's like, I kind of start a little bit in October with shopping and um, but full on the only thing that plays in my car after Thanksgiving is Christmas music and probably drives Todd insane because he would much prefer to not really start listening to Christmas music till like that five day window. <laughs> to uh, make it a little bit more tolerable. I was talking about you. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy Christmas music, but I enjoy it in moderation. In moderation. I feel like one month is moderation. <laughs> <laughs> this morning I made him watch like two YouTube videos on excellent Chris throwback Christmas music videos. Well, one is David Bowie and Bing Crosby some TV special where they were singing Little Drummer Boy together. Mm -hmm. And then I made him go watch King and Country singing their version of Little Drummer Boy. If you guys haven't seen that, watch the stage performance one. 
It's epic. Absolutely epic. Impressive. This is looking good. Yes. So I, this recipe, instead of white sugar and cinnamon, it's brown sugar and cinnamon. And I forgot the butter. <laughs> Great. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right. I shouldn't be talking while I'm doing this. That's the problem. I'm just so happy and just talking and I forgot to put my butter on. So a soft, a uh, half a stick of softened butter and then we'll put our brown sugar and cinnamon on. Mercy. Oops, not quite softened. Sprinkle this brown sugar back on, now that we've got that settled out. And then I'll sprinkle on the cinnamon. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, tell me, leave in the comments, how much do you love Christmas? When do you start Christmas? Are you big stocking fans? Um, maybe we'll even get into some of our favorite family traditions. And then I also have to make sugar cookies are, well, our cutouts for the party. And so I don't measure this. The recipe calls for like four teaspoons, but I like a lot of cinnamon in my cinnamon rolls. So that's what I do. And then you want to roll them up as tight as you can. So I kind of just work my way down. And then just, I just pull my ends and kind of squish it all together so it's about the same size. And then we're gonna cut one inch slices. Okie doke, we're gonna get these loaded in the pan. They'll need to rise for about 45 minutes. Um, I'll make sure that I have Todd put the video link to these in the description box below. I do have my oven set to proof so that they can rise good. All right, well, we're just gonna squeeze and it's gonna be whatever. We shouldn't do this, but I don't wanna waste another pan. So. These'll be for Tat and I. Okay, maybe I'll squeeze that one in too. <laughs> they won't know, right? That I took one out. All right, well, I just got the cinnamon rolls in. Ready for stocking time. How cute is that? Little Santa hat, hook and yarn, stocking, how fun. So the thing is, in my mind, is you fill this sucker till it's overflowing. So I'm gonna get some of the things out that I'll say our standard in my kids' stockings every year. Socks, um, gum, chapstick, some type of perfume or cologne for the boys. Um, I'll just say some type of body care product. Always chocolate. I got a couple chocolates. Um, maybe a journal, something to take notes on. The girls always get 
um, a piece of jewelry. So I like to sh shop at TJ Maxx is my happy place. I told Todd last night after I came out of there, I'm like, this place is like pumping endorphins through my body. <laughs> I love TJ Maxx. So earrings, um, a candle maybe, not always, sometimes. Um, and then something personal, like typically I'll find something personal. So this is just like a really pretty little four by four gold picture frame. Um, and then I didn't think my girlfriends would appreciate it, but my kids, my boys always get jerky. My kids, all of them get a Pez. They've gotten a Pez their entire life and they will always get a Pez. Um, and that's kind of like the, the basics of a stocking, but that does, it doesn't stop there. Like I just, I'm collecting things all the time and packing, packing stockings. Boys typically get coffee. Sometimes the girls get tea. Sometimes if I'm in the mood and I make a bunch of body care products or homemade chapsticks, homemade soaps, those go in there. So we're gonna fill this one with as much as I can fill it. I had a $50 limit. So I would say that that's for an adult stocking. When, my, when they were just kids, it wasn't always that much. But for adult stockings, I'd probably stay around $50. Okay, so heavy things at the bottom. So we've got a scrub-a-dub-dub -dub body scrub. Exfoliating body scrub, we'll stuff that down there. And I don't, I know somebody asked, do I wrap each and every individual gift? I do not. Um, other things, other ideas, car fresheners, flashlights, mini pocket tools or purse tools. Um, we've done lottery tickets like the scratch offs before. Um, if I didn't have so many, I think gift cards would be fun to put like a random gift card, like if you just had a couple young adults that you were buying for, but we have nine. So um, that gets a little, a little pricey. All right, so we're just gonna pack and pack away. And then tips to do this frugally is buy multi-packs of socks, buy multi-packs of chapsticks, multi-packs of gum. And then it saves a little bit of money. Um, let's see. What else can I stuff down there? Can this bend? Yeah, doesn't this look good? Yummy. Back to human snacking dark chocolate gems. Vegan, organic, paleo, simple. Oh, it sounds delicious. I'm like, oh, I want those. Okay. So. Todd does really fun stockings for me too. Um, he's learned what makes a good stocking. Uh, and like I said, I think I mentioned in a recent video, last year I got um, um, let's see, this can kind of hang out. Let's go in with the candle. Last year I got um, can I put that? These are tricky. I'm telling you, it's tricky. I'm trying to stuff this Santa guy without tearing it. And what did I want to say? Oh, last year I got the silicone um, utensils. So maybe you have a young woman that is just starting out and doesn't have like some fun baking things for her kitchen cool, unique cookie cutters or um, measuring cups would be fun. Okay, I think I got that in there, yeah. Alrighty, we'll go in with the gum. Let's see. Go in with the, these are chocolate covered graham crackers. Again, delicious. Who wouldn't want that in their stocking to have with a coffee or tea? Okay, we're getting to the point that it's getting tight. Okay, so I think I'm gonna 
wrap. And then the only thing I do um, is tissue stuff the top of the stuffing, just so there's a little bit of magic and they don't immediately see what they're getting hanging out of the stocking because I've had these honestly so overflowing that tissue was strategically placed. And if you've never done tissue before, lay it pattern side up, grab in the middle and pop. And then you get your little tissue fluff. All right, so I'm gonna wrap my picture frame. So stinking cute. Hopefully he does it. Stays safe. We do get a little vicious at our party because we play several different versions of White Elephant. And uh, one year as adults, our age, we did hide and seek around the house. And that was really fun. So you like drew a number and then you had, to, I think that's how it worked. And then you had to look for um, the number on the package hidden. And it was at a random stranger's house. It wasn't even at one of our girlfriend's house. She was staying like at her mother-in-law's, which we didn't know. And so we had no clue about her home and the layout and the nooks and crannies, hiding places. All right, we're getting like so full. Earrings in, try to refit this gum, and then I think we'll pop these. Aren't those nice? They're like so fuzzy and warm. Okay, and then we'll stuff these socks in. I don't know if I can fit those graham crackers. This is gonna be tight. But I thought this would be fun for my girls white elephant gift. So this would be a fun even gift because then you're not just getting one thing. You get to open like a whole bunch of things and they're all super useful. Um, oh, you know what? Instead of the chocolate, I have a few other things in here that are for the kids' stockings. I have this, I think that'll smell nice when somebody's opening the package. It's a cranberry, orange cranberry face and body soap. So, all right. Now, I do not have my ribbons out of the attic. You guys know I'm like a ribbon fanatic. If you've been here for any time and have seen any of my Christmas wrapping videos, but I'm gonna tie a pretty ribbon off to the side and it'll be curly and flowy and have a gift tag on it. And then I'm just gonna stuff. This is what I do even for my kids. I stuff it till I can't possibly stuff it anymore. We're going to go in here and we're going to try this. Can we, can we make it work? Okay. All right. All right. Now let's get all of our tissue stuff all around. Get some red. So our tradition, while I'm doing this, our tradition is when you wake up in the morning, you can take down your stocking and open it. Nobody else has to be up. That is your own personal thing just between Santa when you were a kid and you or mom and dad. Oh no, do not fall out. Um, Okay, we're gonna figure this out, guys. I honestly, it is a trick every year. Okay, let's we'll see if we can stuff this soap in this corner. So if you want to do something like this and you're just starting out with a family, buy big stockings, stretchy stockings. Todd's stocking from when he was a kid, it's the best for stuffing because it's like crochet. So it really, really stretches. And that's my cinnamon rolls done. Okay, okay, I hear you. Not yet, maybe two more minutes. Okay. Um, but anyway, I was saying, it makes the best stuffing to stuff, to stuff because it's 
really, really easy. All right, we're getting there. Um, other Christmas traditions though. So, I feel like I've shared this before, but we have a lot of new subscribers. So, most of the kids will be here for Christmas by the 23rd. So, every year, the, a couple days before Christmas, whenever I make like the big round of Christmas cookies, um, we have a Christmas cookie like cutout decorating competition and Todd is the judge. And um, we judge like the most professional and the most creative. And it's like serious. Like our um, now son-in-law, who was just my daughter's boyfriend this time last year, um, showed up at this house, fit right in, and he won the competition without skipping a beat. Like, it went all out. And that Christmas Eve, the kids draw names usually right after Thanksgiving to give like, we call it the brother-sister gift exchange. They draw names so that you don't have to buy for everyone, they just pick somebody. And um, Christmas Eve, they will do their brother-sister gift exchange. They usually play board games all night long. Um, some of them will, even as adults, will choose to stay here Christmas night, Christmas Eve night. And usually around 10 or 11, I kick them out. I still treat them like they're kids, even as adults. I'm like, out, oh, Santa's gotta go to business, get, get the final um, presents down. See, doesn't that look cute and great? And honestly, this probably weighs 15 pounds. <laughs> But what a fun, fun way to stuff a Christmas stocking. Um, but anyway, like I said, they, they get kicked out from downstairs and then they get sent upstairs and they're up all night playing games. And, uh, oh yeah. All right guys, don't do so good. All right, so good. Um, Christmas morning. I'll wake up really, really early, and monkey bread is our traditional since I was a child, child, child. I don't know when my mom started it, um, but I, I don't think I've ever had a Christmas in my life without monkey bread for our Christmas breakfast. So I'll make a, wake up, and depending on the size of the crowd, like if we're everyone's in town or not, um, this year everyone's in town, so it will be two monkey breads. And then I'll usually do some type of breakfast to um, like protein type breakfast to go with it. Sausage balls or a breakfast egg bake, something like that. So while they're up enjoying their stockings, they can have their coffee, OJ, breakfast. Once everyone's up and has had stockings, usually my daughter Abigail can't wait for everybody to wake up. So she makes rounds through the house waking everybody up. Um, but once everybody's up, our next tradition is we have what we call the elf. So somebody's name is chosen to be the elf that year. That person passes out all the presents from underneath the tree. The presents underneath the tree never have an actual individual's name on it. We do surprise names, so nobody can ever peek under the tree and guess whose presents are whose. Um, there's a secret decoder list. And then we take turns um, going around open, opening gifts. I was grew up in a home where nobody ever saw what each other got. It was just And Christmas was done in five minutes. And I didn't want that. I, to me, it's the most magical thing. Giving is the biggest blessing. I love giving. And so I want everyone to enjoy the feeling of giving and, um, and, and make it last too. It's just the time together is special. So we go around and we take turns opening our presents one at a time. 
ooh and ah and let me see. And so Christmas for us, Christmas morning is usually like opening presents a couple hours, um, just passing them out and doing all the fun things. And then we have the pickle. So I think it's a German tradition where you hide a pickle in the tree. It's a pickle ornament, not an actual pickle. But I'm sure in history, it was an actual pickle. I don't know the why they did it, but it's been my family's tradition. We're a little bit German, but it's not like we're a lot of German. It was just probably something fun my mom thought of. And uh, when we were growing up, if you found the pickle, you got the special ornament for the year. But as long as I've raised kids, it's been a game. So when they were little, probably like, you know, whatever was a age appropriate game, or it could have been like something active to do, like a sled or a skateboard, things like that. Um, and now it's still carried on, it's a game, always a game. Last year was, um, what was it called? I'll have to find it, like flip the pub? flip the something, it's like a pub dice game. You like flip these little tiles up as you roll dice. It's really addictive, it's really fun. Um, like addictive in a good way. You wanna keep playing it. And it's not a big board that you have to get out in a ton of pieces. Um, so anyway, happy Christmasing, happy stocking, stuffing. Most of all, happy giving and enjoy um, blessing those that you love them much, whether it's just with your person, with homemade gifts, with something that you thought of that was special for just that individual. And uh, make it magical because Lord knows we need all the special feelings in the world. There's just too much bitterness, too much anger, too much frustration, and uh, there's a lot of joy to be shared. So I'll see you guys on the next video.